I'm Arash Roshed uh, with the University of Idaho. Uh, at the Zebra Chip meeting this year, I'm uh, talking about the effect of density on two different varieties of uh, potatoes. This work has been done in collaboration with Texas A&M AgriLife Research and uh, uh, USDA, uh, Dr. Chris Wallace. Uh, what we did, we infested uh, different cultivars of potatoes, two different cultivars, Red, uh, red Lesotho and Russet Norcota with 5, 15, and 30 psyllids, and then we looked at the uh, disease uh, severity in, these, in, the, in their tubers, and also we looked at the uh, amount of pathogen uh, in those tubers, and the plant, the physiological changes that happen in the tubers in response to infection by these different densities of insects. What we saw uh, was changes in phenolics, amino acids, and sugars. Uh, what happened with phenolics was that as soon as the plants were infested with uh, LSO, um, we had an increase in levels of phenolics, almost all of the phenolics increase. Uh, responding amino acids was uh, not homo homogenous between these two cultivars. Some of the amino acids, they went up in both cultivars, but there were some amino acids that did not change in one, but they changed in the other one. And what we saw in uh, sugars that we looked at was that uh, glucose, for example, uh, increased in both cultivars. In one of them, the effect was significant and was highly correlated with the number of um, insects that we had feeding on those plants. In the other one, there was not a significant correlation between the number of insects, but for sure, in both cases, we had an increase in this level of in the level of this uh, moon of sugar. Um, the other thing that we observed was that uh, there was a difference in uh, disease severity uh, when we had five insects and thirty insects on the plant, or when we inoculated plants with five insects versus thirty insects uh, in both cultivars. We had uh, the symptom uh, severity was lower when you infest the plants with five psyllids than when you infest the plants with 30 psyllids. Um, I don't have uh, much time to explain exactly how we did the experiment, but uh, it seems that if you have a lower number of psyllids on the plants, the disease severity, disease severity, and also the quantity of the pathogen is going to be lower in the tubers. So we are expanding on this experiment this uh, for the following year. And hopefully uh, next year uh, I can have more results to present and um, we have uh, differences uh, detected by, the, by this increase in the number of uh, replicates that we're going to include in this study.